As more and more states seek to adopt restrictive anti-abortion laws, a new study shows the Republican-led effort is actually backfiring. The study comes at a time when the Supreme Court has announced it will hear a challenge to President Obama's contraception mandate. Terry O'Neill is president of the National Organization for Women. Merritt Tierce is the executive director of the Texas Equal Access Fund. It's based in North Texas. Her group provides financial assistance to low-income women who want an abortion and cannot afford it. Merritt, I'm going to begin with you because you are right there on the front lines there in Texas, which is now part of a handful of states to adopt a law banning abortion at 20 weeks. Meantime, we have the Daily Beast, which is reporting that the law is actually driving women now to have late-term abortions, and that defeats the purpose of what Republicans are trying to do in the first place, right? So what's your reaction to this study? That's absolutely true. That is what we're seeing, Alex. Um, the women that we help are calling us uh, with appointments later and later into their pregnancies, um, primarily because the clinics are now uh, with fewer clinics, the clinics are having to schedule farther out. Um, so it's just a logistical nightmare. And we've seen historically that when you push women farther into pregnancy, um, all kinds of other concerns come into play. Um, and if you add that to a landscape of, you know, women having to travel farther distances, mm -hmm. make childcare arrangements, take time off from work. It's just a recipe for disaster for women's health care in Texas. Well, and, and also, sometimes they have to double pay. I mean, you go to one clinic and you get a sonogram, which isn't that required now. You have to have a sonogram and wait 24 hours before you can have... Uh, right. Uh, so, so if you go to one clinic and then that one is now banned, you've got to go again, start the whole process over and pay for the process, right? Exactly. So on November 1st, when uh, four of the eight clinics that we work with closed, all of the women who had appointments at those clinics had to make new appointments at different clinics and had to pay for their sonogram again and wait 24 hours again and travel. So uh, it's an enormous burden, especially on low-income women who are primarily women of color, rural women, mm -hmm. young women. Texas has the largest rural population in the nation yeah. and the highest number of uninsured people in the nation. And interesting, I was reading at other places in Texas where a woman may have been displaced as far as 560 miles. It's like a 14 hour drive just to get to the clinic that she may be able to have access to now. Um, Terry, overall, the, the, the impact you think these laws are gonna have on midterm elections in 2016 with regard to the Republicans, how much could they damage the party? Uh, you know, Alex, I think that this is continuing to damage the Republican Party, certainly in the view of uh, women. Overwhelmingly, it just recently in Virginia, women rejected an, uh, an extremist, anti-woman, anti-abortion candidate for governor. Um, unmarried women voted for the Democrat, Terry McAuliffe, by a, by a factor of 40. African-American women voted for Terry McAuliffe by a factor of over 70. I believe it was nearly 80%. There was an 8-point difference. Um, these women are voting on issues. And women voters very much look at issues and policies. And, and not only that, but in um, Albuquerque, the first ever municipal abortion ban was roundly defeated hmm. in the city of Albuquerque. So I think what's happening is women are going to be going to the polls more and more. And of course, my job is to make sure that women know what's at stake for them in their own state in the 2014 elections. And we will be driving women to the polls, making sure that they get there and vote because women's uh, policy that really affect women's lives are absolutely um, mm -hmm. at stake in 2014. Uh, I mentioned the Supreme Court decision to hear this case, Merritt. Let's switch to that now because it is the challenge to the contraception mandate in Obamacare, Affordable Care Act. Unlike abortion cases, there's virtually no precedent, though, for cases like this contraception mandate. So how do you think it's going to play out and how worried should women be about it? I... <laughs> I don't know, we'll have to wait and see, but I think that um, the bottom line is that when you refuse to give women access to contraceptive, uh, to contraception and to comprehensive reproductive health care, you're just increasing the rate of unintended pregnancy and the need for abortion. So it's bad policy all around, uh, and Texas is restricting family planning funds already so much while simultaneously restricting access to abortion. It's, yeah. it's yeah. You know, it, it looks grim. Uh, uh, Terry, I just got to get you to weigh in on this. A any read on the climate there in Washington and how this may go with regard to the Supreme Court case? 
You know, we don't know how the Supreme Court is going to rule, but we know that 99% of sexually active women have used birth control at some point, and it needs to be covered by health insurance, uh, not, by, not only by public, publicly provided health insurance like Medicaid, but also by the private insurers under the Affordable Care Act. That was the right decision by the Obama administration to include birth control as one of the list of preventive care services that insurance companies have to cover um, on your policy. You pay your premium, you mm -hmm. get these preventive services including birth control. It needs to be there and the men, and they're mostly men in these companies suing to prevent uh, uh, employer-based health insurance from covering birth control, really don't have the right to impose their religious views on their female employees. That's sex discrimination. That's not okay. Okay. Terry O'Neill and Merritt Tears, thank you very much for appearing on the program and for the work that you are both doing. Much appreciated.